moments, perhaps simply just segments of time, slices out of the collective whole of life. Yet perhaps they are what build, what create, what shape the future. This world can be a harsh place. I remember walking through the streets of India, seeing children living in trash heaps. The stench was overwhelming and the flies were swarming. I remember driving down long dusty roads through the barren lands of Kenya, only to arrive at an isolated home made of stick and mud, meeting parents who needed to provide for their children, but just couldn't. And I remember one moment, stepping onto a train in Southern India. Looking out the window, I saw a mom, and I was a mom. She walked with her three kids and stopped next to a murky puddle. I watched her reach down and scoop dirty water, serving them one by one. It broke my heart, it still does. What if that was all I had to give to my kids? It was just a moment, but it changed me forever. Hi, my name is Cincy. I grew up in upstate New York, the youngest of six kids. And I was a nice person. My friends told me I was nice. I thought I was nice. But when I was 21, I encountered this God who was pursuing me and lavishing me with this incredible and amazing love. And he swept me off my feet. And I know this doesn't make sense to everybody, but a deep, deep love began to grow in me, much more than just being nice. Over the next 20 years, my husband and I met people, we read, we traveled, we learned, and we saw some of the most devastating circumstances we could imagine. Things that weren't fair. Some of the poorest people in the world, the uneducated, the hungry, the sexually mistreated, the orphan, the widow, the hurting. Meanwhile, God was burdening me to care, to behave compassionately, to not say come back tomorrow, but today to respond to the needs around me while I have the opportunity. And it was teaching me that I had something to offer. And so in 2009, I just said, okay, that's it really. God was leading. I was just a normal person taking the next step into that moment of opportunity. The Hope Venture began as a burden to simply respond and bring whatever we could to the table. And what could we bring? Something different. A compliment to efforts already being made. Years of trusted relationships with local, national leaders who would lead out in India, Kenya, and Uganda. Tangible opportunities that anyone could help with. Transparency and integrity so you would know right where your money is going. A background in education, a plea to improve health, and a fun, generous culture that would be created to bring hope and dignity to the most disadvantaged people in the world. We got advice, and we read how to start a nonprofit for dummies. We formed a board, we hired lawyers, and we launched a 501c3 nonprofit. We got furniture donated, and my friend let us use her basement for five years to help us keep costs down. We scribbled names and ideas out on napkins and sticky notes. We drank coffee, we Skyped, we prayed, and more and more people started to become us. We're based in Lincoln, Nebraska, with people from over 30 states and with trusted leaders from overseas. We are teachers, baristas, toothless third graders, broke college kids, soccer moms, and hotel owners. We have a unique 100% financial model that never takes a percentage of your project donations for administrative use, and we value people and restore dignity to those who can't find it. Today, God is still leading. We have made it our regular practice to fall before Him and seek Him to listen and respond to his call. We are helping educate and train thousands of people in India, Kenya, and Uganda. We're bringing clean water and food to those who desperately need it. It's simply a practice of stepping into the moments we have to help lives find hope. We believe moments are what build what create and what shape the future. We invite you to join that adventure. Let's help lives find hope together.